the industry is changing and also a heck of a lot. The, you know, the speed of change is extremely quick compared to 10 years ago. Um, and that's why I think we're one of the best people to be able to deal with this because we are an agile company. Um, you know, Jaguar Land Rover or something like that will take three to five years to develop a type of vehicle. Um, we can do it um, a lot quicker, obviously not to the same standard, but certainly for the applications that we're looking at, it is an acceptable standard. Um, so the idea is that we can deal with these innovative ideas, that we can do the trials and we can put it into commercial operation a lot quicker. Um, so we are quite suited to this. And the reason why the UK is attractive to be able to do this is because they understand the technology. And I think the UK is becoming a technology integrator, um, whereas others are specialising in different areas, such as you know, China. They're very good at production and producing mass volume, but they're not very good at the innovative, cutting edge technology. We've always said we'd like to try and build and you know, design, build and manufacture and validate this in the UK. Um, you know, obviously we've looked abroad with the vehicle, um, we've looked at China, we've looked at Malaysia. So we have you know, branched out and looked at other areas. However, we do, do not see that somebody can be as competitive as what we can in terms of the costing and the sourcing. We're in the heart of the Midlands, which is the heart of the UK manufacturing centre. Um, so if you can't get it here, you can't get it anywhere. But it's really clear to me that if we can make it in the UK, that we should do that in the first instance. We have done sourcing exercises to look at components made abroad, and they are not as competitive as what we can get it done for here. But you also must remember that where this technology is, we've got to be very, very careful. We cannot buy 100 of these or 10,000 of these um, from China, and then it arrives here and we've got a quality problem. The beauty that we have is our chassis manufacturer is 200 metres away. The bodywork manufacturer is 500 metres away. And, and that's what you need for an agile industry and also supply chain. We are already working very closely with government. Um, if you look at some of the commercial sales we've got, that has been introduced by the Department of International Trade. So we see working together with them as a, you know, it's a, it's a family environment. We've been very open and honest about what's gone well, what's gone badly. Um, they've been very supportive of what we're doing. Um, you know, if everything went perfectly, you, you definitely know that we're either hiding something or, or something's going to go wrong very soon. Um, so you know, it's, you've got to work, work very openly and hand in hand with, um, with the government. So we have helped write the new IVA, individual vehicle approval test um, for these types of vehicles. Um, we've also proposed what testing needs to be completed, not just on the vehicle, but also with the sensing and the technology and the control software. Um, and you can't do that anywhere else around the world. And that's the beauty of the UK, is that we do work very, very closely together with the government on this is what is required of industry. And we're sitting next to people and, you know, that work at BMW, Jaguar Land Rover, Nissan, Honda, having the same conversations about what do we need as a manufacturer, as well as what do they need. Test beds that we've got around the UK, amazingly, are all within an hour and a half of here. And that's some of the best test facilities we've seen around the world, from you know, climate chambers to wind tunnels to uh, small cities, um, as well as you know, the motorways and some of the A-roads that we can test things like platooning. And that's a fantastic facility to be able to have. But let's just make it really clear about this type of product. This isn't going to change and people lose jobs. People are going to be retrained because what we want to do is to, in essence, push a kit, like a bit like an IKEA kit, um, furniture, to, to go out to local areas, create a business locally with the local people who are going to be building these vehicles so that they can then build, service, operate and maintain them for the future. At the moment, if you look at we're importing, you know, 70-80% of vehicles from abroad are coming in. If we can shift that around, so we're now importing 30%, all of a sudden we're going to need a heck of a lot of people to be looking at this industry.